Hello everyone. I hope you've all been keeping well. Um, you must be wondering why you haven't heard from me for a few days. See, I'm trying to adjust this camera because it just keeps tilting because I put it on a stand, which was a gift from a friend, but it just keeps going to like do like that. You know, it's so annoying. Anyway, so I have to tell you what happened this weekend. There were several parties as always, you know, in the neighborhood. I'll tell you more about that later on another vlog. The reason I didn't do any vlogs recently was because for a few days is because um, I was bitten on the nose by, a na by my neighbor's dog and it looked absolutely awful, you know. There was a huge, you can't really see it properly now, but uh, see those two marks there, those two lines? They were really deep cuts and, and there was a lot of blood and there was a cut here, here, which was awful and also just inside the, 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 the nose. I mean, today I had to actually like peel out the dried crusts of blood. It was disgusting, okay? And um, <clears throat> basically what happened was um, the, the neighbors were in the local pub. They were drinking and it was late and they'd obviously got there early and they were drinking a lot. And there were other neighbors there and friends and we were there too, but we were not drinking as much as they were drinking. You know, we were just drinking socially. You know? The mistake these neighbors made was that they, that this couple that were there left their dog on the floor next to them. So when you have a dog lying on a hard floor, right, for a very long time, they get bored, they get upset, they can get angry, they can get stressed. You should actually keep that dog next to you on the bench or, or, or on a chair or, or on the lap with you because they need that contact with you, you know, rather than just disconnecting them from you and your partner, you're having fun, the dog is just left there. So as they were getting ready to leave, that's when I noticed the dog because the dog noticed me because I know the dog. I have carried the dog, I have kissed the dog, you know, when we're out and about, when I bump into them. So what happened was I just caught, like, you know, just caressed his little face and I went, oh, sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And then he just tilted his head, looked at me like that, and he went, ah, you know, and just bit so hard. And it was a small dog, it was a Shih Tzu Terrier, small Shih Tzu Terrier, and bit and, um, I didn't take much notice of it, but because I didn't really, I thought it was just a bite because you don't really feel the pain immediately, right? And the couple went, oh my God. And then the guy went, sorry, buddy, sorry, buddy, sorry, buddy. And the woman was totally freaked out. First of all, she was extremely drunk because women tend to get drunk quicker, you know, <laughs> right? Because they can't really handle much alcohol, you know, at the, <laughs> they get drunk really quick. And she started shivering and saying, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Please don't call police. Oh, I'm just, I said, look, I'm not going to report your dog to the police, you know? Like some people do that when a dog attacks you or a dog attacks your dog or whatever, you can report it. But I was not going to report it. I said, look, it's not the dog's fault. It's fine, blah, blah. And whatever I was trying to tell them, it wasn't really going into their head because they were extremely drunk. I don't know why people get to that stage where they are so damn drunk. They don't know what's happening around them. And it's so unfair for the dog. You know, at least if you have children, the children can say, mommy and daddy, enough. I want to go home. I want to go home. The dog can't say that. The dog could bark and you'll probably be like, shush. Because you're so damn stupid, you haven't done your research before getting the dog, okay? I think this couple might be watching this, okay? So if you're watching this, take this as advice. Because I'm sharing this with all the local residents I know, and hopefully they'll see it. They are not in my network, by the way. Because the girl is not really interested in coming to dog meetup groups. Uh, that's another topic I'll get to on another day. Anyway, so the blood keeps coming and the blood keeps coming and it just does not stop. So I take tissues. I'm trying to stem the bleeding. Somebody's bringing me ice. The staff, are, you know, it was rattled. And I'm like, look, it's fine. I've been attacked by dogs before. I've looked after a dog before. I've uh, trained hunting dogs before. Um, you know, I've been bitten. I've been scratched. I mean, I was mauled by a leopard for fuck's sake at an, an animal sanctuary, wildlife sanctuary in Sri Lanka. Um, I was whacked on the face by a baby elephant. Thankfully, it was a baby elephant. If it was an adult elephant, it dislocated my jaw. But it was a bruise and it was painful. I was bitten by a snake. I was thrown off the back of a horse. I've done extreme sports. Injury is nothing new to me. But let's just say that this injury... Um, sorry, I'm just keeping tilting this damn camera. It just does not... Uh, my friend Terry gave me this stand. I think he must have bought it at Poundland. Anyway, so... Um, because it's really, really cheap. For those of you who don't live in England, Poundland is where you can get things for one pound. And it's so damn cheap. And it's never the best quality. Some of them are. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> see, I'm going off topic again. So then what happened was, the bloody nose was awful. And already as I'm aging, my face is getting a little bit bigger. I'm getting a tiny bit of a double chin. And, and my stomach is getting a teeny bit big, you know. And my nose is somehow getting wider. Which is so irritating. Okay. So, 
Already the nose had gotten bigger and now this bite and the swelling made it even bigger, you know. It was like being a clown without the red ball nose, you know. And it, it, I looked terrible, okay. And because my hair has also been very frizzy and, you know, um, wild lately and uh, my eyes are getting discolored because my sleep is a bit messed up. So I just, let's just say I look terrible, right. So I thought, right, I'm not going to do a vlog until this finishes. This, this, get, get rid of this first, okay. Oh my God, because I work, clients have asked me, what happened to your nose? Oh, did you get into a fight? I said, no, I don't, this is what happened, dog. Everyone's doling out advice. Oh, you know what you should do? See, this is what really irritates me because despite knowing that I'm a very experienced person, they feel the need to dole out advice. You know what you should do? Aloe vera gel. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. I can hand fill at my own aloe vera plant and do it by myself. Somebody would say, oh, pseudo cream, Dettol, antiseptic. And just someone said, get a tetanus shot. I said, I've never had a tetanus shot in my entire life. Not even when I was small by a leopard, okay? <laughs> Clawed by a leopard. And so um, I put aloe vera gel later on. I put some pseudo cream. I put ice and it was healing. You know, it was healing. Um, the guy at the pub, who is a friend of mine, you know, he works there, Kirill. He said to me, oh, how you do video? How you do video with this news? And I said, I'm not doing videos. And then you go, but we want video, we want video. Okay, right. And then uh, the girl who runs a jewelry store down the street, uh, a pop-up jewelry show, and she's like, oh, darling. Oh, my God, it looks, looks awful. Oh, uh, I'm waiting for the videos. I love your daily videos. I just love it so much. And I said, yeah, but if you love it so much, why aren't you commenting so much and subscribing so much? You know, I said, subscribe, comment, whatever. Anyway, my personal favorite comment came from a Chinese lady who runs a pop-up stall. Uh, it's also a stall in um, near Spitalfields Market and she was closing down. She said, she texted me and said, because um, her English is not like really, really good, but I can understand what she's saying. And she said, um, I close shop, go back China. You come today, free BAP. Okay, that's it. So I go to this free BAP because it's food and it's free. I'm not going to refuse that, am I? You know, so, uh, and we're Sri Lankans. Sri Lankans are obsessed with free food, you know. Um, so <laughs> I go there, right? And there are people there, so I wave at her, and she goes, oh, hi. Oh, 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 honey, what happened? What happened? Your beautiful face looks so bad. It looks so bad. And I told her the story about what happened with the dog. And she goes, oh, that dog, put down, put down, kill, kill doggy, bad doggy. And I said, no, darling, it's not the dog's fault. It's, so I'm trying to explain it to her. She's not really understanding what I'm saying because she's working at the same time, telling her staff what to do. And people are there and people are all looking. And at one point I said, look, I, 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 I'm, I, she said to me, but no, no video, no, no, no video with this face. And I said, no, I won't do with you. And she just goes, oh, because I mean, her, she's got a ch round, cute face. Okay. Full red lipstick and slanted eyes, slanted upwards like this. And with that strong Chinese accent, I'm not sure whether she speaks Cantonese or Mandarin, it sounded so funny when she said, Oh, no, no video, because uh, uh, you know, already look really big. And now uh, the swelling make it too big. It looks terrible. So terrible. Oh, uh, my sister in Shenzhen, Shenzhen or Shenzhen or something, a Chinese city, also get bite on the cheek by doggy very big doggy and it was so awful after and then i said okay right i'm gonna make a vlog about this okay and would you be on camera with me because you're so funny <gasps> oh me no do video me no do video oh, no, no. <laughs> i'm too shy and <laughs> so finally i said okay right thanks for the baps i'm gonna go and then she puts her hand on my face and goes you look up to yourself no kiss doggy anymore can you promise me you look at the body of the puppy to look and it was so funny because everybody else in that store, they're trying not to look at my face or stare because staring is apparently rude, right? But it, they can't help it, you know. So as I'm trying to move this way, they're slowly like the corner of the eye, like looking. And as I turn and look at them, they look away. Okay. So anyway, that was the story. So um, moral of the story, okay. Be very careful when you kiss an animal, hug an animal. Even if it's an animal you know very well, you know. Uh, people like me who have been used to animals all our lives, we have a certain instinct. We can tell, we can feel. But animals are unpredictable, just like people, you know. A horse you have been riding for years can throw you off its back, you know. Um, a cat that you have loved and looked after for a long time might 
claw you, you know. Um, just like a human friend who would be very nice to you, and the next day they might snap at you. You might be saying hello to neighbors, and you might have little chats. The next day, or another day, you see the same neighbor, you say hi, they might ignore you. People have moods, and I guess animals are like that, you know. I'm the same every day, you know. I never change, but most people change. Most people are sensitive, so are animals. So, uh, moral of the story, two morals here. Be careful when you get up close and personal with an animal. Second, if you have a dog or a cat or any pet, do not take them to a pub or anywhere and just ignore them on the floor. You know, give them comfort. Maybe even take a blanket to kind of give some padding on the floor. They need some comfort. A little bowl of water. You need to do these things. You don't just ignore that pet on the floor, okay? And do your research before you get a pet. So that's the lesson for today and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment, like and share.